Welcome to your yoga class today. Hello, MK, I see you on. Um, so for anyone who's joining through Instagram, I'll just back up a little bit so we, um, I can see you. Hey, Nat, we've got Kim and Jana. So for anyone on the Instagram, so I have the Instagram over here, you can go to the U of T story, so this exact page, and you can see the um, playlist that I'll be playing today. So if you just want to play the music a little louder, feel free to do that, um, or like through your own speaker system. I know um, that's something. Hey, everyone. through your own speaker, have it to your own um, volume, and yeah, you get to kind of control, or you can play your own music. So um, today, it's our Sunday noon practice, so it's a 45 minute practice. We'll be using a mat. If you don't have a mat, feel free to just use um, a towel, so you can just lay this down and out, pretend it's your yoga mat. You can just use the carpet, the hardwood floor, you really don't need much. Um, and today we're going to start a little bit differently. We're actually going to use a wall. So you can use a wall or a door. I've got many doors here. So um, finding and maybe moving your laptop or your phone to a place where you can basically put your legs up on the door. We'll just be doing three different exercises there. So kind of move on. Hey, Robert. Hey, Sean. We've got Sandra and Natasha. Um, so finding a place near a door, and then I'll give you a little second to move back to, you know, your yoga mat or wherever you are. So without further ado, we will get started. So I'll just start the music. Um, okay. So finding your way onto a door, we'll move a little bit further down so everyone can see. So you're gonna try and move your bum close to the wall. We'll start in a waterfall pose. So the legs come up the wall and see if you can move your bum close to the wall. So you might need to kind of really slide close and then put the legs up. So the legs are flat. This allows venous drainage in the opposite direction. The palms can be open, feet are flexed. Closing the eyes, rolling the shoulders down and back. Inhaling through the nose, filling yourself up with a big deep breath. Exhaling to release. So just noticing this pose. Um, it's great if you ever feel anxious um, or worried. This is a great pose as it really calms the nervous system. It allows venous drainage in a new direction. So coming to this pose before bedtime is something great to do is you can really slow the body down and prepare it for sleep. So breathing in deep, feeling the stretch maybe more through the hamstrings here. Breathing in, feeling the belly rise, the ribs expand, the collarbones lift. As you exhale, feeling everything soften and sink towards the earth. Taking in a big deep breath, feel the belly, feel the collarbones lift, exhale to release everything, letting it sink. And then we'll come into our second pose. So for this, you kind of want to move your bum a little bit further away from the wall and then bring your right foot so it's in a figure four. So the foot is flexed, the foot is resting on top of the knee or just slightly above the knee, not to put pressure on it. And then you're slowly just gonna slide the left leg down the wall. So you'll really feel this stretch in the right glute. You can even place your hand and press it on the knee. So this is your classic um, thread the needle, but this wall helps you use the foot to press and deepen the stretch. So just noticing how this feels. And then with each exhale, you might be able to slide the foot down the wall a little bit more. So just playing with the wall, really trying not to be too stagnant in these positions, always looking for growth and movement within the pose. So just checking in, see if you can maybe slide the foot a little bit more down the wall. Yeah. 
using that hand to maybe help press and open the knee. We'll take one more opportunity to slide the foot down the wall, pausing where you feel the stretch, really sending your breath to the right glute. And then we'll slowly start to straighten that left leg. So sliding it up the wall, extend the left, the right leg so it's back on the wall. You can take some slight um, bends in the knees to help loosen the legs. And then we'll come into the other side. So lifting the left leg up and over the right knee. So figure four here, you can see the shape. And then slowly bending the right knee. So bringing that foot flush against the wall, using the hands to press onto the knee, and you'll feel it here in your glute. So just start small here, come back to your breath, sending it to the left glute. And then when you feel that there is some openness, start sliding the foot down, just inch by inch, really making the movement small. Taking a big deep breath in, fill the belly with air, feel the collarbones rise. Exhale to release. And then maybe sliding the foot a little bit more towards the earth. Pausing here for a couple breaths before we find our final slide of the foot down. Okay, this is your last chance to slide that foot down a little bit. Just notice it might be hard to find those larger movements when you get deeper into the stretch. So just looking for a little bit more space. Feeling the wall help you push against it with your foot to help deepen the stretch. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly lengthen the leg up towards the sky, extend the left leg, just bending the knees, rumbling out the legs a little bit, and then slowly just rolling onto your side and then finding your way back to the mat. So if you took your computer or your phone somewhere else, coming back and setting up for um, your practice on your mat. So coming to a cross-legged position, roll the shoulders down and back. Um, rocking from side to side, and then inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Gaze towards the hands. Exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Interlace the hands here, push down. Inhale, bring the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, the hands through heart center. Inhale, sweep the hands up overhead. Exhale, the hands through to heart center. Last one, biggest breath yet. Inhale, sweep the hands up overhead. Exhale, through heart center. Pause a moment here, maybe starting with an intention for your practice. Maybe it's spreading love and kindness to your neighbors, your family, to anyone you see. Maybe it's the gift of presence, trying to stay in this present moment during the duration of your practice. Or maybe it's forgiveness, forgiving and letting go. Whatever it is, breathe it in through the nose, fill yourself up with this intention, let it resonate in the body, and then exhale to release. We'll take the hand, circle the right arm down and back, bring the opposite hand to knee, inhale for a long spine, exhale to twist and to rotate over the right shoulder. Exhale to come back through to center, circle the left arm down and back, opposite hand to knee, inhale, tall spine, exhale to twist over the left shoulder. And then exhale to come back through the center. We'll bring the hands forward, coming into your tabletop position. So the hands are shoulder distance apart. The knees are hip distance apart. We'll inhale to lower the belly down, bring the gaze forward, shine the heart for cow. Exhale to press up, gaze between the thighs, arch the back. Inhale to lower down for cow. And then exhale to press up for cat, really arching the spine here. Feel the stretch in the top of the shoulder blades. Inhale to lower down, feeling the stretch in the abdominal region. Exhale to press up. One more round here. 
finding a flat back here. We'll inhale the right arm long. Exhale, extend the left leg back. Really feeling strong and tall here. This time, instead of crunching the elbow to knee, as you exhale, we'll open. So the leg comes to the left, the arm comes to the right. As you inhale, track back through to center, really working our core here. So exhale to open up, and then inhale to come back through to center, working our obliques here, open up to the side, and then come back through to center. Lower down the hand, lower down the knees, rock the hips side to side, releasing anything here, and then we'll come to the other side. Inhale the left arm long, exhale the back leg back. As you exhale, open the leg and the arm, and then come back through to center. So exhaling as you open, and then inhale to come back to your neutral position. Opening up, coming back. One more here. Exhale, open. Inhale, back through to the center. Exhale to lower the hand, lower the knee, rocking the hips from side to side. Really letting them dip. Trying to almost get outside the confines of your mat. Really taking any fluid movement here. We'll curl the toes, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Pedal the legs out here, bending one knee, bending the other knee, pressing into the hands, melting the heart here. Inhaling to a high plank position, stack the shoulders over top of the wrist. Exhale to press back, send the hips high, downward facing dog. Inhale to rock forward, high plank position. Exhale to press back, downward facing dog. This time, as you inhale to rock forward, we'll come to a low plank position. So lowering down onto the forearms. And then exhale to press back into dolphin. Inhale to rock forward, low plank position. Exhale to press back. Inhale to rock forward, last one. Exhale to press back. Inhale to rock forward to your low plank. So finding a little bit of core here, we'll just maybe walking the feet out to really find that low plank and then slowly taking taps with the knees. So pressing the knee down to tap the mat, extending the leg. So tapping, tapping on each side, really feeling the core strong here. Taking one more tap on each side before you come back into your high plank position. Exhale, press back down your facing dog. Step hop or walk to the front of your mat, forward fold, bend the knees, feel the upper body fold. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up overhead, gaze at the hands. Exhale through to heart center. Pausing a moment here. Interlace the hands, bring the pointer finger. Step back for the zoom, bring the pointer finger so it's facing up. Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale to tilt towards the right. Hips and shoulders squared with one another. Inhale, back up through to center. Exhale to the other side. Shoulders and hips in line with the front. Inhale, back up through to center. Part the hands. Chair pose, Utkatasana. So bending into the knees, bringing the hands up towards the sky. Spread the fingers here. Exhale, press the hands to heart center. Lowering to Anjali Mudra or prayer position. And then twisting towards the right. So bringing the opposite elbow to knee. Make sure the knees are in line. Notice if the left knee is kind of jutting forward. Bringing that back. Pressing the hands against one another to revolve and twist. Exhale to come back through to center. Take a breath here, grounding through the feet. Inhale for length through the head. Exhale to twist opposite way. Opposite elbow to knee, press against the hands, revolving open the heart. Notice that right knee, making sure it's parallel with the left. Exhale to come back through to center and then forward fold. Stepping back into your high plank position. I'll be walking forward, coming here to this high plank position. Squeeze the core tight. Exhale to chaturanga, lowering down. 
Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. Inhale, high point position. Bring the right hand beneath the face. Rock onto the sides of the feet. Inhale, the left arm up to the sky. Option to lower to the knees here or option to lift that top leg coming into a star. Lowering down that leg, come back, rock into your high plank position. Finding a push up here, bend the elbows, lower down. Exhale to press up. Bring the left hand beneath the face, inhale, roll onto the right side body. Coming into side plank, notice if you would like to lower to the knees or lift the top leg. Really squeezing the core tight here. Exhale to lower down, high plank position, downward facing dog. Pedal the knees out here, inhale the right leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, plant the foot forward, low runner's lunge, tent the fingertips here. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, crescent lunge, bend into the front knee, stretching that left glute. Finding a slight back bend here, open the heart towards the sky, arching through the back. Inhale back through to center. Exhale the hands to heart center prayer position. Hinge forward, finding a twist here. So bringing opposite elbow to knee, twisting through the heart. Maybe you open the hands here, coming into the flying bird. Exhale to close the hands, come back through to center, crescent lunge. Pivot the body, coming into warrior two. So bending into the front knee, back foot parallel to the back of the mat. Inhale the arms into your warrior two arms, like a T position. Exhale, straighten the front leg, kick the left hip back, reach up and over, coming into triangle pose. Revolve the arms, bring the back of the hand to the shin, lift through the upper body, left arm to the sky. Exhale to lower down. We'll bring both hands to opposite sides of the front knee, bend into the front knee, coming back into your runner's lunge. We'll step the back foot forward. Coming into a forward fold here. Walk the hands over towards the right side. Come into a stretch on the left. Exhale to come back through to center. Pause a minute here. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. And then walk the hands over to the other side. Exhale to come back through to center. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale to forward fold. Bend the knees, root to rise. Sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale the hands through to heart center. Pause a moment here, connecting to your intention. Bring it to the front of the mind. Clearing the mind of any distractions. Coming back and connecting with the breath. Bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Part the hands, swan dive forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, plant the hands, step back, high plank position, rock onto the big toes, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. Inhale, the left leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, plant the foot at the front of your mat. Tent the fingertips here. Square the feet so they're both facing forward before you inhale and rise. Press and lunge. So really breaking down this pose. Both of the hips are facing forward, bending into the front knee, high on the back heel. Roll the shoulders down and back. As the arms come up, the pinkies rotate inward, feeling that giant beach ball above your head, crown of the head lifting towards the sky. Relax and release the jaw. Exhale, press the hands together, lower through to heart center. Hinge forward at the hips and then coming into a spinal twist. So opposite knee to knee, opposite elbow to knee. Press the hands against one another. 
Option to fly here. Open the hands up, long, wide. Exhale to come back through to heart, to Anjali Mudra or prayer position, and then come back through to center. So really focusing on the balance, sweep the arms up overhead. Finding warrior two, pivot the back foot so it's parallel to the back of the mat, roll the shoulders down and back. Hips and shoulders are in line. The hips are now facing the side wall. Knee is open towards the left pinky toe. Inhale the arms up to T position. Finding triangle pose, we'll straighten the front leg. Kick the right hip back. Reach up and over, pivot the hands, and then lower down into triangle pose or trikonasana. This pose balances the body both spiritually and energetically. So really feeling that through the body. Exhale to lower that hand down, bend into the front knee, coming into the low runner's lunge. Use the momentum to press up into a forward fold. This time, we will bring the hands under the feet. So coming into gorilla pose. So the feet meet the wrist crease. So playing with the legs here, you can have an extreme bend in the knees. And then you could kind of play and straighten the knees, really feeling the upper body pull towards the earth, really feeling the grounding sensation or the earthing of the feet against the hands into the floor and into the earth, helping really ground us during these uncertain times. Exhale to release the hands. We'll reach for opposite elbows here just to give the hands a little bit of a break, maybe rocking from side to side. And then releasing the hands. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Plant the hands. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Exhale through to heart center. We'll find traditional tadasana. So bringing the, hand, the feet shoulder distance apart. Hands come to the side, palms face forward. Squeezing the leg muscles. So you can feel the kneecaps lift with the squeeze of the leg muscles. And then internally rotating. So these are really subtle movements. Bring the hands wide, so each finger is like a ray of light, really feeling lifted through the crown of the head, just noticing how this feels. And then exhale, and we'll come to the middle of the mat. So we're going to find our balancing poses here. We'll transfer the weight into the left foot. Finding eagle pose, so bending deeply into that left knee will bend the right knee and come up and over. So option to hook the foot around the leg or just to point the toe and really squeeze the legs together. So we'll inhale the arms long, like eagle arms, and then exhale the left arm under, the right arm over. Option to reach for opposite shoulder blades or option to come into eagle arms where the um, the arms really kind of twist together and the palms come to one another. Lifting the elbows up towards eyesight, bending a little deeper here. Exhale to release, opening the arms up, standing and removing that leg down to the earth. Swaying from side to side here before we transfer the weight to that right foot. So we'll bend into the right knee Bend the left knee, bringing it up and over. I'm just gonna move to the side or hit the wall. So bend to into both knees, squeezing the legs really tight here, pointing the toe, just noticing this side might be a little different. And then inhale the arms out wide. We'll bring the right arm now under the left, coming and reaching for opposite shoulder blades or coming into eagle arms. So bringing the arms twisted together and the palms facing one another. Sinking a little deeper, bringing the elbows a little higher. Exhale to release, open the arms up, stand tall, lower that leg. So rocking from side to side, releasing all of that here. We'll bend the knees, inhale to sweep the arms up long, exhale to forward fold. 
Inhale for a halfway lift, flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Walk the hands out into your high plank position. Really squeezing the core tight here. Exhale to lower chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale for downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg high, three legged dog. Bend the knee, plant the foot at the front of your mat, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. So really staying a moment here, really feeling and breathing into that left hip flexor. So you can keep the hands down or you can bring them up to the knee. Just really targeting that hip flexor, that quad, and sending every breath towards that. And then when you're ready, you can heel toe the foot up to the wide edge of your mat. So just slightly moving the foot all the way to the wide edge, bring the hand on the inside. So both hands are together here. So option to stay here or option to open the foot. So rolling onto the side, the knee dips towards the right, the sole of the foot shines open. And then if you'd like, you can come down onto the forearms. Might be a little difficult to bring your right forearm down. So just kind of notice how you can distribute the weight. Maybe you even transfer the weight into that left arm and then use the right to open. So just trying to breathe into this, sending the breath to where you feel this most. And then maybe you bend into that back foot, you come high onto that hand and you reach for the foot. If you took the vine, releasing so both hands now are high, um, the arms are straight, rock back onto the sole of that foot and then heel toe the foot back through to center. So from here, we'll send the hips back, toes to the sky, folding, coming into that hamstring stretch. And then from here, we'll come up and spin towards the left. So swing that left foot out, almost like a tripod on a camera really to help support you. The front foot's parallel. So this is a little bit of a tricky transition. So you need to just come in high, bending into the left knee, straightening that leg. We'll inhale the arms up overhead and then exhale to fold over that long leg, reaching the left arm up and over. Inhale, both arms up overhead. Exhale to lower that left arm now down onto the mat, reaching the arm in the opposite direction. And then inhale back up through to center. Exhale to lower the hands to the hips. We'll now bend that right knee. So now coming into frog pose. So both shins now are parallel to one another. The feet are flexed, both toes are pointing out to the sides. If you want, you can roll the mat here to help support the knee um, on either side, or maybe you're on carpet and there's enough protection for you. But for this, really the alignment is critical. So the knees and the ankles are in line, both shins are parallel. And then you're just simply gonna come down onto the forearm. So you can spread the knees a little wider to stretch the adductor muscles, so the inside of the leg muscles. Or you can try and lower even um, the heart and flatten the upper body down onto the mat. You can slightly almost send the hips back to kind of deepen the stretch. So the hips are going back and a little bit down to really press and open the inside of the legs. Making any adjustments as you need here. Taking five more big deep breaths here. Let yourself release in this pose, really finding openness. See if you can maybe lower down during these five breaths. Can you deepen it in some way? 
can you spread the elbows out to the sides a little bit more to help you lower down deeper? And then when you're ready, slowly walking the hands back, we'll bring the knees together, coming into a closed legged like child's pose. So the knees come together, drape the arms alongside the body, the forehead comes to the mat. And then we'll come into rabbit pose. So keeping the knees where they are, I might come as a side angle for this just to help. So the crown of the head, which is four fingers past um, your hairline, that's where we want our head to be for rabbit pose. So you can just kind of feel where that's gonna be. And basically your head's gonna come to the earth and you're gonna reach for opposite heels. So bringing the crown of the head to the earth, reaching the hands for the heels, We'll send the hips high, stretching the shoulders. So pressing the hands against the heels, lifting the hips slightly, pressing the crown of the head into the earth. You'll feel this in the shoulder blades. And then exhale to release, slowly bringing the head back up. Perfect. We'll come back into our downward facing dog. So pressing into the hands, curling the toes, sending the hips high. And then inhaling the left leg high, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, plant the foot at the front of your mat, lower the back knee, untuck the toes. So coming into our dragon series on the opposite side. So keeping the hands here, if that feels comfortable to you, or maybe you'd like to Really roll the shoulders back, feel the hearts lifted, and then send and sink into that left knee. So targeting the right hip flexor here. Spending a couple breaths to breathe into that. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly bring the hands back to the earth and heel the toe of the foot to the wide edge of the mat. So both hands are on the inside and then rock and open onto that foot. So shine and open the foot towards the sky. And then maybe you will bend down onto the forearms to help stretch this um, leg out, or you can transfer the weight into that right forearm and use that left hand to help open. option to bend into that back knee, coming high onto that hand, reaching back for the toes, coming into a bind here. Exhale to release that hand back to the earth. Bring the sole of the foot back to the earth. Heel to the foot back through the center. Hands frame the foot. Send the hips back, toes to the sky, lift up and out of the hips and then down. Not really just a short fold, but can you do a longer fold where the body is kind of aiming to lean towards the foot rather than the thigh. All right, we'll spin this towards the right, swing that foot out, Pivot the foot so it's parallel to the mat, um, and then bringing the hands to the hips. So squeezing the core tight here, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, exhale, forward fold down, side fold down that long leg. Inhale, both arms back up towards the sky, exhale, folding the other way. Hand comes down to the earth, arm reaches up and over. Inhale, both arms up to the sky, and then exhale the hands to the hips. This time we'll bring the hands in front, bring that foot 
to come into a forward fold. So just slide that standing foot out to the side, bring the feet parallel to one another, and then forward folding. So maybe bringing the forearms down towards the mat, or maybe you're still standing tall with the hands like this, coming into a flat back with the crown of the head reaching forward. So just notice where you feel um, you are today and really just trying to be there with no judgment, with no comparison, just staying exactly where you're meant to be and feeling into the stretch. We'll slowly walk the hands over to the left foot, coming into that low runner's lunge. Bring that foot back into your downward facing dog. Bring the knees wide, the big toes together, melt the heart, spread the hands wide, coming into your child's pose, forehead on the mat. Walking the hands over towards the right, coming into a little bit more of a stretch for the left shoulder. And then walking down to the other side to find balance. And then coming back through to center. And then coming back to bring the knees together and the shoulders stacked over top of the knees. Breathing in, rolling the shoulders down and back. We'll come into a little wrist stretch. So bringing the hands and rotating them outward so the fingertips um, face the back. We'll stretch the forearms here. So walking them a little bit more forward for a deeper stretch and closer to you for a more passive stretch. So just notice where you are and what feels right for you. And then finding the other way. So flipping so the tops of the hands are on and then kind of sending your weight back. So just pausing where you feel this again. And then exhale to release, just shaking the hands out. We'll come onto our bum. So bringing the feet out in front. We'll bend the left knee down. So the knee is facing forward. And then we'll bend the right knee on top. So this is called cow's head pose. And basically we want the knees in line with one another. And then we want the shins and feet to kind of be pointing more towards the back. So for some, your knee might be out a little to the side. Um, or for some, it might be completely flat down, but just whatever feels best for you. Basically, the left, um, the left knee is bent below, the right knee is bent on top. So for this, you can stay here, or you can just slowly walk the fingertips forward, coming into a little bit of a forward fold with it. So really, though, trying to keep those hips rooted to the earth instead of lifting the hips up. So trying to feel that um, opposing energy. The hips are sinking down while the upper body is kind of reaching forward. Seeing if you can walk the fingertips a little bit more while still keeping those hips connected to your mat or your towel or the carpet. And then slowly walk the hands back to stack the chest over top of the hips. Slide that top leg to the side, the bottom leg to the side, bring the top leg down. So the right leg now is down, bent um, in a V shape, and then the front is bent. So you can see that one side might be different than the other. So I'm a little bit more flexible on the other side. So just kind of noticing where you are on this side trying to bring that knee as close as you can to the other knee, the feet um, pointing towards the back, and then just a slight lean here. Just notice for this one, maybe, you know, you're not walking as far forward, but just see if you can have no judgment with this and really just be exactly where you are. 
and know that that's exactly where you're meant to be. Seeing if you can walk the fingertips a little bit for, more forward here. Can you bend a little bit deeper? And then coming back. So walking the fingertips back, removing the top leg, removing the bottom leg, and then we'll just windshield wiper the legs here. So just rocking from side to side. The hands can be behind the body. Just releasing anything here. And then when you're ready, we'll take the legs wide. So the feet can come to the wide edges of the mat. The upper body can lower down. The palms can face up. Roll the shoulders down and back. Spread the fingers wide. Coming into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Taking a big deep breath in through the nose. Filling the belly, the collarbones, the ribs, the lungs, and then exhaling to release. Letting the exhales help you soften. Noticing the natural rhythm of your breath. When you're ready, maybe you stay in Shavasana a little longer or bending and rolling over to your right side, bringing the head on the forearm, coming into a little fetal position. And then when you're ready, slowly keeping the eyes closed, pressing into um, up into your seated position, rolling and rocking onto the sit bones, rolling the shoulders down and back. Maybe bringing the hands to the knees or the hands to heart center. Just pausing a moment here. And with some cleansing breaths, so bringing the hands to heart center, interlacing the hands down, we'll inhale the arms up overhead, heart the hands into prayer position, exhale through heart center, inhale, sweep the arms up overhead, exhale, bringing them through to heart center, one more, inhale, sweeping the arms up overhead, exhale to heart center, pausing a moment here, Feeling the thumbs against the heart, maybe closing the eyes, tucking the chin. I'd like to finish with a quote today. It says, never regret a day in your life. Good days give happiness. Bad days give experience. Worse days give lessons. And best days give memories. So taking a moment to feel what you can manifest for your day today. To breathe in the love and light and gratitude. To try and make this day the best it can be. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you everyone so much for joining the practice today. My name's Maddie. If you um, have any questions or if you have any suggestions for the next class, that would be great. 
Um, and the next class is on Tuesday at 12. So thank you so much everyone for joining and hopefully we'll see you on Tuesday.